Previously, we have focused on electrochemical cells that involve two different pairs of redox reactions or two different electrodes. Now, let's look at a different kind of electrochemical cell we call concentration cell. Concentration cell. These are electrochemical cells that involve two electrodes, but two electrodes are of to yourself the same material or the same redox half cell reactions and the two half cells or two redox pairs differ only in concentration the two sides differ only in concentration they are of the same material same chemistry these type of electrochemical cells are called concentration cell okay so uh, similar as normal electrochemical cell, the potential for such concentration cell is still determined by Nernst equation. Still determined by Nernst equation. Let's take a look at a, an example. We have a concentration cell with zinc metal on both sides inserted into solution that contain zinc ion. The only difference between the two sides, the two electrodes, or the two redox pair is that the concentration is different. 0.1 mole on the left, 0.5 mole on the right. So we can write the short form the uh, electrochemical cell like this. Metal electrode, metal electrode, both are zinc, zinc ion, zinc ion they differ only in concentration and between them the double vertical line represent an uh, ion permeable membrane that prevents the mixing of cation but allows anion to go through okay so this membrane is essential to prevent the direct mixing between the two sides the two electrolyte solution Without this membrane, quickly you have uniform um, cation concentration. But with the membrane, the cation concentration difference can be maintained. Okay? So, because of this, just due to the difference in concentration, there will be a potential difference between the two electrodes, always say between the two redox pairs. And that's what we want to know. So the overall electrochemical reaction, if we view this from electrochemical point of view, the overall reaction, I write it as this. Zinc ion going from the high concentration side to the low concentration side. Zinc ion go from high concentration side on the right to the low concentration side on the right left. Of course, this is not to direct the diffusion of zinc ions through the membrane because we said the membrane prevents the mixing or the diffusion of zinc ion to go through. It only allows anion to go through. So how does this um, process happen? Okay, if the membrane does not allow it. So here is a similar trick that we used before. We can view this overall reaction as something like this. Okay, here it's similar to the reaction on top with added zinc on the left, added zinc on the right. Now on each side of this reaction, we add one zinc atom. Okay, now let's take a look. On the left side, this added zinc atom would gives out electron to become zinc ion on the left side this zinc ion would combine electron to form the other zinc metal on the right so as you see the anodic or oxidation half cell reaction would be zinc metal give out electron to form zinc ion and in this case would be 0.1 molar at the same time 
the cathodic or reduction half cell reaction would be for the zinc ion 0.5 mole to combine with electron. Where does the electron come from? It comes from the released electron from this ink metal to deposit zinc um, metal. Okay, so we would have anodic and a cathodic half cell reaction. And the chemistry is fundamentally the same, it's just the reverse of the other reaction. And in this process, okay, N is 2, okay, from here to here. In fact, if going through external circuit, N is 2, not 0, because of the redox process between zinc ion and zinc metal. Keep this in mind, this is very, very important. And the reaction quotient from here to here, the reaction quotient would be 0.1 mole divided by standard concentration divided by 0.5 mole divided by standard concentration. It comes up to be 0.2. Okay. So using Nernst's equation, the electrochemical cell potential for such a for such a concentration cell would be E0 representing standard cell potential minus at 25 degrees C, which would be 0 0.0592 volt divided by the number of electrons transferred times log of reaction quotient Q. That's what we learned before for Nernst equation if it's at 25 degree C. Okay? And plug the number in, E0, anodic and cathodic, they would have the same standard electrode potential. Anodic and cathodic, they are essentially the same redox pair reaction, and the difference in the anodic versus cathodic would be zero because it's the same redox pair. Minus 0 0.0592 divided by 2, which is our n, n again, is the number of electrons transferred, and it's not zero because that's metal zinc. That's the redox process happening between zinc ion and zinc metal. Okay, times the log of 0.2, and you plug the number in and calculate, it will be 0 0.021 volt or 21 millivolt. Okay. 21 millivolt. It is the cell potential for such concentration cell is positive, meaning the transformation from zinc 2 plus ion 0.5 molar to 0.1 molar is what we call spontaneous process. It's a natural process. But in, in reality, what happens is zinc ion got reduced on the right side chamber in the chamber with 0.5 molar of zinc, while zinc metal got dissolved on the other side going into the solution. The net result appears as if the zinc going through the membrane, but that's not what exactly happened. It is going through an electrochemical reaction. Okay, and the driving force is 21 millivolt. Zinc ion try to move as if try to move from the concentrated side to the diluted side, but it is through the electrochemical reaction and the driving force is 21 millivolt or 0 0.021 volt. Okay? It is not directly the zinc ion transport through the membrane. Because we said the membrane prevents prevents the mixing of zinc cation. Finally, a few more notes. The standard cell potential E0 for concentration cell would always be zero because the anodic and the, the cathodic half cells are based on the same redox pile. Of course, when you do the subtraction, E0 would always be zero. Another point to get a positive cell potential it requested because of this minus sign it requested reaction quotient q to be smaller than one in this case it is 0.2 which is smaller than one and 
smaller than 1 in Q and minus 1 here, that would give you a positive cell potential. Okay?